Here's some numbers. Three. That's how many days man last did at a possible boys' school before getting kicked out. Twenty-five. My school teacher told me I'd be dead or in prison by that age. Cheers, cuz. Six. The number of awards I've got for my music and TV work so far. Fifteen thousand. The crowd size I was performing to 90 minutes after leaving my dad's funeral. 144%. That's how much the Big Nasty Show increased Channel 4's black audience. Good day, readers and listeners, and welcome to another episode of Tom's Rapid Reviews, where each week we take a book review written by one of our fabulous Surrey Library staff. Uh, I'll give you a bit of context about the author and the book and we talk about what we think. And it's all done in the hope that you'll be inspired to try reading or listening to something new this week. Uh, so, without further ado, let me formally introduce you to How To Be Nasty, the biography by Big Nasty. How To Be Nasty is a funny biography from musician and personality Big Nasty, who you might know from his Channel 4 programme, The Big Nasty Show, his work as a grime MC, or even his appearance on Celebrity Bake Off. The book offers life advice from Big Nasty's unique perspective and experience. As he puts it, real talk on humble starts, big dreams, and beating the odds. I read this book on a whim a few months ago, and uh, when it came in new to us here at the library, and was pleasantly surprised by the fact that Nasty is just as engaging uh, with the written word as he is on screen. Let me now give you my full review. How to Be Nasty is a book that is both funny and genuinely thought-provoking. Big Nasty's unique voice comes through throughout the book, and the circumstances he has lived through give him the sort of perspective that is decidedly un under underrepresented uh, in literature as a whole. The stories from his life growing up and then succeeding in entertainment are engrossing, and the longer narrative of his overcoming the odds is quite a joyful thing. But the story of his life so far is only half of the book's content. The other half is nasty passing on advice and lessons that this life has taught him. I won't lie and pretend I agree with everything uh, nasty says or all of his advice or perspectives, but that's not the point. The point is to be open uh, to what Nasty has to say and recognise the validity of perspectives other than your own. And approaching it like that, Nasty did give me plenty of food for thought. So, if we take all that into account, uh, I'm going to give How To Be Nasty 3.5 out of 5. 3.5 out of 5. It's a quick, enjoyable read that I recommend to anyone who Big Nasty has made laugh in the past. It just misses out on higher marks for being a little insubstantial. How to Be Nasty is available physically from Surrey Libraries. But that's not all I want to talk to you about today. Uh, if you find yourself wanting to read more about the lives of people with different experiences to your own, there's some other books. Uh, that I'd like to recommend to you. Firstly, let's talk about Rise Up, the hashtag murky story so far. This book is about and by another grime artist, Stormzy and his team. It focuses on Stormzy's rise from promising young musician to major cultural figure and spokesperson for a generation. Uh, featuring contributions from the man himself and a team around him that he clearly values, photography, annotated lyrics, and a lot of writing about the development of Gang Signs and Prayer, which is Stormzy's debut studio album. Rise Up is available physically and as both an ebook or an audiobook on the Libby app. Next one I want to talk to you about I've got right here, and it's called In Black and White. Uh, this book follows the experiences of its writer, Alexandra Wilson, a young barrister who is a mixed race woman. This book perfectly captures our theme here of people with experiences unlike that of the majority of readers, 
because Wilson finds that her upbringing, identity, experiences vary wildly from her contemporaries. And she finds herself navigating a system designed and peopled almost entirely by children of white privilege. Uh, her perspective is both unique, insightful, and indeed damning of a system not yet representing the people it's supposed to protect. In black and white is available physically from Surrey libraries. So that, I think, is all from me this week, readers. If you've enjoyed this video, please do consider liking, uh, subscribing to the Surrey Libraries YouTube channel, commenting down below, and uh, engaging in any way you can. Until next time, borrow books, challenge yourself, stay safe, and I'll see you next time for another edition of Tom's Rapid Reviews.